You can't possibly stand against my three blue eyes white dragons. It's over, Yugi. You were never a match for me. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. But it does contain... The Unstoppable Exodia! Ah! Impossible! Exodia! Obliterate! So, alright, so we go to 2000. How much you boy at? 28? No, 38. 38? You played two? I copied him. God! Ah! Ding, 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 ding! Alright, so assuming you know what most of the cards do, we'll just start off with the deck list. I play three Ram Ram, three Thoroughblade, three Whiptail, and then the White Rapier. The reason why I don't pay play bunny blast is because bunny blast is only the main use of bunny blast is to go first and you summon rapier or, or thoroughblade and you discard the bunny blast and then you bring it back with chalconine and then you go into hammer kong dryant use dryant pop the bunny blast and then either add back the thoroughblade or the rapier that you started off the combo with and it just lets you end on a, on a dryant for interruption and then a follow-up zodiac in hand for the board to Zeus. however since this is a going second list i do not see the point in playing the one bunny blast i would just rather play the third run ram now for your hand traps the most important part will be playing three dimensional shifters. Dimensional shifters so good at stopping your opponent's turn that I decided to play six of them by playing three copies of Retaliate and C. And for this weekend alone at the events, I decided to test in the one copy of Contact with the C to search it off the Retaliate and C when they when your opponent actually um, outs the Retaliate and C. However, from the games this weekend, I've realized that most of the time the macrocosmos effect will be enough to seal the game and a few times where they will manage to out the retaliate and see and play through it the search in the retaliate and see does not help as much as one would think i'm following it up i played because getting to these six cards is so important i played three phantasme And for my last set of hand traps, I played three ass just because you can still ash your opponent even if you're under the macrocosmos effect since you do not have to discard her to the graveyard. And lastly, for your for your last monster, I played one copy of Pranker Tops. For your additional starters, I played three copies of Tenki. And then for extenders, I only play the two, the one Zodiac Barrage and Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn sometimes a bit self-conflicting with the six uh, macrocosmos you play, but on the rare occasions where you do not, um, where you need to extend because you did not open one of the six macrocosmos, uh, Monster Reborn is a pretty solid option. Then of course we play three Pot of Desires just to help us get more resources to help break the board. And then for actually breaking the board, I play Triple Chalice and Triple Dark Ruler No More. Now, these may seem a bit conflicting since they both do the same thing. They just negate the monster effects on your opponent's board. However, I do find that Chalice is really good when going second against the dolls because then uh, when, they, when they do flip the Schism, you can chain the Chalice at any point in the combo to negate the window. Also very good against a lot of rogue matchups just because they don't expect the quick play to come out. And then three copies of Twin Twister just to help us out the nasty back row. Now I often find myself asking what's, what's better playing Book of Moon or playing Forbidden Chalice. And the answer, obviously after I think about it for a second, is quite obvious. You, we were always playing Chalice because I have the Ulti Chalice's first edition and I only have common Book of Moons. So that's why the reason we don't play Book of Moon. 
Secondly, if you think about it, I think Chalice comes up a lot more often than Bukamundos. Bukamund does in terms of being like a clutch card against on that game one against uh, Travi Grade. Because the build is made to go second. Once you start to attempt to break through the board, they're going to chain the uh, Revolt and then they're going to bring out uh, Omen to try to banish your Zodiac. And unfortunately, in those scenarios, you know, Bukamund won't, well, yeah, I mean, when you can't chain because it's a link that it won't negate the effect whereas uh, you know you can still chain chalice and even though they still get to search off the nerval once you control the board with a zeus they that that extra normal summon in their hand is not going to matter because they have no additional extenders besides a cause so the game plan is you summon thoroughblade you go into borbo you attack directly for 1600 17 if you have the tanky and then you just drop a lot of materials and you go into a Zeus. Now, if everything's successful and your Zeus is able to out your opponent's board by coming back to you, you'll have a Zeus out and then you will summon another Zodiac. Go into Chaka 9. Bring back the first Thoroughblade. And then use that Chaka 9 as material for the Vespinato. This is 71 damage on board, so that means all you had to do was inflict 900 damage with your first Borbo attack. However, because you do play three Ram Rams, there might be the unfortunate situation where on the first attack, you had to summon a Ram Ram and attack for 400 instead of the 1600. That means that you are going to be 500 damage short of lethal for the next turn. However, if you are lucky enough to top deck a Tenki, you will search your Thoroughblade for your second normal summon, and then you would do the damage. You would summon, you had your Zeus, your Thoroughblade, and your Bespinato. Whoops, the tanky should be on this side just so we can see it. The Bespinato, this will be 71 damage, 72 with the tanky, um, 70, 72, 76 with the Ram Ram from the previous turn, which means you are 400 off lethal and chalice for the win.